let's just talk about the, the link to the film Hebrews to Negroes. Right. Now, w- when they asked about it, Kyrie said, I- I'm not going to apologize because I know who I am. Kyrie, when, when watching this film, I haven't watched the film myself, but I did talk to people who did watch it from beginning to end, and we had detailed discussions about it. And yes, the, the, the film pushes the narrative that, that black people in America are the original Hebrews, the original Jews, and so forth. Uh, I have no problems with that. If that's the case and it could be proven, or, or, or if this is how people believe, I'm, I'm cool with that. If, if you feel that, that black people in America are the real Jews and, and the Ashkenazi Jews like myself are not, Fine. I have I have no issues with that whatsoever. None. None. If you want to embrace the Jewish faith based on whatever your perspective is, great. Right. You know? I'm I'm all for it. And Kyrie, I believe, was focusing on those parts. But the problematic parts in that film was that they called Jews devil worshippers. Uh, they also I watched it. Okay. Was you know they, yeah. they, they worship the devil. That there was also some Holocaust uh, denial and so forth. I think if I had put up a, a link to a film that had a whole bunch of positive stuff, but somewhere in there I said that, that black people were devil worshippers and uh, slavery didn't really happen like that. I mean, a couple people died, but you know this whole millions of people dying and the transatlantic slave thing was all uh, overblown and, and so forth. I think I would get the same level of outrage from the black community for posting a film that included those parts, regardless of what other positive things are in that film. And I think that's what people are, are focusing on. And that's what they're asking him to address. And he was sort of dodging the issue and talking about the other parts of the film. Right. But but so he was staying on the positive part of the film. Yes. The reporter was staying on the- The well, negative part of okay, the film. So but it's all part of the same film. It's all part of the same film. So right? he made a choice not to pay attention to what he felt was nonsense. The reporter felt you should pay attention to what this nonsense is. And he said, no, I'm paying attention to this part because this may be true. So right, wait. right. But but you still have to address the nonsense or, or at least denounce the nonsense to, to a certain degree, right? I mean, you can't just ignore it, that, that it's not there. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't. I don't think he did that. I don't think he did it where he was saying like he like it wasn't there. And I do understand, and I do understand that that whole idea. And I'm not here to be a uh, Kyrie apologist. I watched it, and I said, "So you watched the whole film?" Yeah. And so, I so, said, "Okay, this. so okay, let me ask you a question. The parts that I said about the devil worshiping and the Holocaust were they in the film?" It was at the end, last part of the film when he was saying that the Jews from uh, Europe had adopted the religion. And they have kidnapped it. And those are the same people who decided in 1960, 1946, when uh, Britain and America awarded this part of Palestine and had them cut out. This is a trip at, at Fat Stogie. What, 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 about, what about the devil worshiping part? Um, the, talking about their star and, uh, and how many. Um, let, me, let me put it this way. I I believe everybody, when they talk about the God of this system, believes the God of this system is when they were saying is the devil. Even the Christians were talking about the devil rules this part right here. And then Jesus is going to come back with 144,000 and he's going to then cause Armageddon and those who follow him are going to go forth and those who don't are going to go to the burning abyss and they're going to be with the This is that's that part of Revelation which was written by Christians. So I, <laughs> which is not in the Torah or in, uh, but anyway, uh, that, that whole mentality and what and how they were saying it, they, that mentality of constantly when they use the word devil, that, that it, when, when, when the nation of Islam has said it and when they said white devil and everybody was like, oh, you're saying white people are devils. Um, no, the decision and the dis- and and the, the making up of the devil is not a black thing; it's a white thing, and 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 it is because black people have always understood the spirits of the world could be evil and can be good, and we needed the the counteraction. It's just that when Christianity came and we were indoctrinated with that, we had to then take on that mentality that this is Jehovah, uh, Yahweh, Jah, 
whatever you want to call them. And then there's a sub thing below or here that can make you move that may eat. So those are those are dynamics put together in a Christian world. So that is constantly going to be uh, beat up and revolved around. If you know anything about Hebrews, they don't even talk about hell or the devil. No. Satan. It's not even a part of it. Yeah. So explain that and understand when you mention that right there, you're talking to Christians. When you mention that, you may talk to a Jewish person or a Hebrew descent or somebody who decides to be Islamic or what would happen in Buddhism. Right. So it's when you say those things, understand where they come from, why they why when you say them, you throw a blanket on all of it. 